Hi everyone, it's Karen with Laugh Yourself Into Stitches and you can see I'm wearing a really cute Santa apron. And the Santa came from a panel that uh, Renee Anneman and myself designed from a five foot, six foot wood cutout 1950s. It was digitized onto fabric and it's part of Renee's Retro Ho Ho um, Christmas collection. And I thought, what can I do with this panel? And I thought, well, I'll make an apron. And as you can see, it's really cute. It's a, it's a do it yourself. You don't need any um, written instructions. You can just follow this little tutorial. This is a look at the uh, full panel. You'll notice that there is a holly border on the top and also on the bottom. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut off that holly border on the top and the bottom uh, because you'll notice it's a little bit too long. Um, trim these off and I'll show you how to do that. I'm line up uh, the three quarter inch line right at the edge of his foot, right there. So you have three quarters of an inch below his foot. And the next thing we want to do is trim the um, holly border to measure two and a half inches wide. You see, I have a little bit of black showing here and no black up here. It doesn't really matter because we're going to actually end up folding all of this inside to make the little ties for the apron. Next thing you want to do is square up your Santa panel and uh, typically I will fold it in half. Um, I'll line up my edges and with a ruler on the fold, I will line up one of my um, straight lines and I will go ahead and trim that straight. Then I will flip it over and do the same to this side. Now I know that my two sides are straight. Uh, we already trimmed the bottom where the boot is, leaving three quarters of an inch. And we also want to put the ruler right across the top. And I'm gonna line it up with the edges because I know those are straight. And line up three quarters of an inch above the mitten. And then I'll go ahead and trim that and that will square up the top. Okay, you're gonna need at least a yard of lining fabric, and the lining fabric is to line your apron. And the first thing you'll do is cut two two-inch strips, and those will be sewn along the side of the panel on each side. And then you're going to cut two two-and-a-half-inch strips, and those are the same measurements that you cut your holly border and that will go um, to create over the neck and your ties around, your, um, around the back. So we already have cut the two inch strips and sewn them onto uh, the side of Santa. And I pressed towards the gray. You can press either way, I tw pressed towards the gray this time. So the lining um, fabric will be the exact same size as your Santa panel and you're gonna lay those right sides together and stitch them completely around, leaving about a six inch um, area that's not stitched so you can pull that um, right sides out. And then you will press it. So the panel top and the lining have been stitched together, turned inside out, um, um, push those little corners out and press it. Now the next step is to top stitch around the entire um, panel. Okay, now we're gonna fold the top part of Santa over and get that apron look. And before we do that, you're gonna measure the width of your panel. You're gonna divide it in half and mark a little notch there with a blue soluble pen and kind of follow that down and make another notch down here about six, eight inches. Then you're going to take your corner and you're going to find that little dot that I marked and you're gonna bring that corner to that dot and you tie it there. Then I'm going to go over and do the same with that side. Now I'm going to take your ruler, your water soluble pen, and you're going to mark one inch down this way and one inch on this side. And you're going to stitch down each one of those lines. And then of course you can uh, use your little water soluble uh, water to get that marking off. But here's what it's gonna look like when it's done. So you have your 
little corners down. I did a little tacking stitch and then I added a little button. And then here is the little casing that we created for your apron ties. So the next thing we're gonna do is create the apron ties, which is very simple to do. It's a big, long, continuous um, portion using the um, two and a half inch um, holly borders. And I miter these together, diagonal line, stitch it, and then I get it like that. And then um, once that is done, I add the two strips that we cut, the two and a half inch strips from the lining fabric. I add those to the ends of the holly because the holly itself is not gonna be long enough to go around your waist. So once those are sewn, to, ties are uh, sewn together, I fold the strips in half, identifying a center, and then I fold into the center and fold into the center. And then I fold that in half. So I'm gonna get a, a little piece that looks like that. And then once that's pressed, that whole thing is pressed, I'm gonna go over and top stitch that and hold it down. Once that's done, then I can take a safety pin on one end and I can take my long ties and slip it through here all the way down around and the holly will show and then your um, little side panel fabric will show. And if you want to um, finish the edges off, you can just uh, take a little stitching there and then I just tied a knot so it doesn't come out. The other thing that I haven't done and I thought about doing this because I noticed that when I take the, the apron on and off, sometimes these little ties will slip up. You might wanna take a little tacking stitch here. I just have it pinned, a little tacking so this stays constant and also down here. Um, you might want to do a couple little X's just to hold that little um, um, apron tie inside there. So if you wash the um, your apron, it won't get all twisted. And then it will stay in place. And put it on, and you have your little Santa apron. How cute is that? <laughs> ho, ho. <laughs> The other thing you can do with a Santa panel is just to create a little wall hanging. All I did was machine quilt it with the backing normally and added the little candy candy striped binding that is from Renee Nanaman. It's already printed on the diagonal. And um, I added cute little prairie points, which is used for a sleeve. And if you want to know more about prairie points, I have a tutorial on my website laughyourselfintostitches.com and just tap on the tutorial tab and you'll find out how to add those. Anyway, super cute, easy to do, and Merry Christmas.